An another one of those uh, memorable stars you work with, Barbara, was uh, a line in the streets, uh, James Cagney, and and of course your director, the the great Raoul Walsh, uh, uh, rolling a cigarette with one hand and saying action and yeah. so forth. What was what was Cagney like? I've always oh, been Cagney a tremendous. Was, Cagney was wonderful. He was very close to his family, and all of the family were involved, the boys yeah. and his sister, Jean. And uh, it was just like <laughs> kind of sitting at home with our, <laughs> our families uh, when we worked together, because he was just uh, not, act not an actor Just natural. He was just so natural and such a love. We have to touch on Perry Mason. Yeah. I, I, I did look, nine years, 271 episodes, and then 30 TV movies between 1985 and 1995. I mean, this goes beyond iconic. How did, how did you and Ray Burr and that cast keep things fresh on, on an episodic show that went I, on so long? I think, actually, it was because Raymond was so full of prunes. <laughs> uh, he was the busiest thing in the whole world, playing jokes on everybody. Yeah. He loved to do that. One time, in, I, w I left for the weekend, and I had a, a lovely cottage. My dressing room was a nice cottage, and it had white rug and pink walls, and very girly, you know, it was lovely. And I came back, walked into my dressing room, the walls were black. <laughs> the rugs, <laughs> the rugs were white, but there—I swear, I bet there were maybe thirty or thirty-two, thirty-four doves oh. in my room. <laughs> they had been there for the weekend, oh. and I want to tell you that rug was not white anymore. <laughs> and he. He also, because I love roses, he thought he'd do a very sweet thing for me. He filled everything that he could, including the sink in my bathroom, the shower, and the turlet <laughs> with wa green water and filled the water with roses, real roses, <laughs> everything in the room and then these doves, and also he had grapefruit that he'd put all around the floor, <laughs> and eggs that were real. They hadn't been broken, and they were raw eggs. <laughs> all over my floor. You couldn't walk in there. You, you can't believe it. <laughs> anyway. Didn't he put, didn't he do something when you were, you would be sitting there uh, at oh, the defense did, table, he, he, and when you put he, something in the drawer or oh, something. He did. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> of course, he did. Yeah. He put a frog in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> they he, love to hear you scream, and, I guess. Yeah, and he, oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I didn't finish. I got to finish this Go other ahead. story. The studio got after Raymond. He had to repair every pipe in the cottage because the green jello had gone down in the pipes, completely destroyed the piping system. <laughs> and when I, when I went back, he had painted the walls again a light pink. My rug was now red. And he, on the, on the sink, I have them to this day. The, the faucets, you know, they were roses. And the spigot was a little uh, limb with a rose on the end of it. Oh. He did that to me all the time. I can't tell you. He was, <laughs> he was a bad fellow. <laughs> but I loved him dearly. Loved him dearly. Yeah. Raymond was a true friend, true friend. He was very good to me, to the family, and to everybody on set. Believe me, when we finished the... Uh, from 54 to 66, when we finished that segment of working together every day, we did, we worked six days a week and had one day off. 
and we would transfer to the next show. And each show took six days in the old black and whites, you know? Anyway, we, uh, we had a, a, a great, great party at the end. And with the secretaries, everybody in the show, extras even, came down. There were only seven of our original complete staff that wasn't there. And that was 10 years. Yeah, 10, 10 years. years. Yeah. And that's quite a time to be, for all of us to have been together. We knew everybody's child, everybody's wife, divorces, children going to college. It was a big family. It was our R-E-E-L family. And our, <laughs> what is it, R-E-A-L? <laughs> well, <laughs> I got, I'm trying to get it straight. I don't know. <laughs> But the other thing that was real it's impressive, our movie family. Uh, uh, the half the show was owned by Paisano Productions, yes. which was Gail, ja Gail Patrick Jackson and yes. then Earl Stanley Garner. And they had a lot of control over what went on the air, particularly Earl did. Earl did. And, and yeah. it was very unusual to have a woman that was in charge of, of, a, of a successful show like that. What was Gail Patrick like to oh, she, work for? She was very fine, uh, really became one of my dearest friends. Mm -hmm. And um, she came to the set and said, Barb, I want to tell you something, and I think this should be interesting to you folks. She said, as we're working, honey, I did my wardrobe. And she said, with your wardrobe, hon, please, when the, when the uh, fashion goes along, you can put it down a little bit but don't go as long as fashion states, just a little bit. And then when the fashion goes short, 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 don't go too short, 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 just a little bit up. And I said, well, that's fine, and I, I certainly will do that, Gail. And she said, yes, honey, I really want you to, because this show is going to go on for a long time. She and was right can, about that. Can you believe how long ago that is? And the shows now are still showing, you know? I said it's like the... It's amazing. It's amazing. And you were really, you and Ray Burr, were really playing a couple true life characters as far as Earl oh, yeah. Gardner was to tell, tell Mr. us about Mr. that. Mr. Gardner, uh, actually, well, how can I tell, how can I, well, possibly, he, he thought himself, of himself, as Ray Burr. <laughs> and so when he, when he uh, hired uh, Raymond, Raymond became his image. And Della, he was going with his secretary. And he had been married. He was married to a Catholic woman, and was very good to her. But they could not get a divorce. So, but he was also going with his secretary, <laughs> and I was his secretary. I was the bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't like it if you sat on Ray's desk. Oh, honey, it was so. He was so cute. If I would do something that he didn't approve of, such as sitting on Raymond's desk, I thought it'd be kind of nice if I just sat on the edge of his desk and talked to him in one scene. The next day, I was called over, and they said, we gotta do it again, Barb. I said, why? It looked very natural, it felt good. Mr. Gardner wouldn't allow his secretary to sit on his desk. <laughs> So we did it again, and one time we were ordering uh, drinks at a, a cocktails at a, a party that we went to, uh, Raymond and Della, and uh, Raymond ordered, I don't even know what kind of drink it was, but it wasn't the kind of drink that, <laughs> that, that Mr. Gardner drinks. <laughs> so they had, had to, to reach shoot up. it over, <laughs> and Raymond had to order his drink. Yeah. 
fascinating, really fascinating. But after uh, the after we did those shows, and then when we went on to the uh, movies of the week, uh, Mr. Gardner's wife passed away, and uh, a year before we finished, he married his secretary. So there was a happy ending there <laughs> before he passed, and he passed shortly after. But he was very involved with the picture. One of the things I always admired about Ray Burr was his loyalty, particularly to Bill Tallman. When Bill Tallman got caught up in that scandal, was off the show for a year, and then uh, through the oh, efforts oh, of Ray oh, Burr. Oh, wait. I've got to tell you something. Please. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. Remember, that, remember when, um, uh, well, I'm Bill gonna, Tallman. Yeah, I, was, I know Bill Tallman. I was going to say Hamilton Burger. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> His you real remember, name. You remember in the paper when he was caught at a house and they put him in jail because there were drugs at that house? Yeah. He, that's, he asked me that day, Barb, I understand Bill isn't, he, isn't coming in. How would you like, why don't you let me take you home? And I said, oh no, honey, he's changed his mind. He's going to come in and we're going to have dinner in town. So I didn't go with Ham with Bill Tallman, Hamilton Berger, on his way home. He had a stop to make. I said, I'm sorry about that. Tell the folks hi. <laughs> and off he went. And do you realize I would have been with him and in jail with him <laughs> if I had ridden, uh, ridden with him on that yeah. night. He was, uh, just to set the record straight on, on Bill Tallman, uh, a.k.a. Hamilton Burger. He was not involved. He was not uh, involved. He stopped at somebody's house and the police showed up. He had to pick up and there were some joints on the table. So the next day the headline in the L.A. Times was, Perry Mason DA arrested in new dope raid. <laughs> because someone, and, and really at that time, I think this was 1960, this was, this was a serious scandal. He was, he was booted off the show and was off for, I guess, pretty near one season. And then Ray Burr and Stanley Garner went to CBS and said, either he comes back or we're going to cancel, we'll walk off the show. So they brought him back. And I thought in the context of the times, that was a very admirable thing for Ray Burr to do. Uh, certainly. It's always like that. He was, he was good to everybody. After every show that we did, six days, he'd have a gathering. Mm -hmm. And he would have cooked it like a big pot of soup or something that he made. He loved to cook. And so we all had a little bit of a party and a taste of Raymond's cooking after every show. He mm -hmm. was a very, very busy kind man, believe me. Yeah.